why don't you acknowledge that a lot of women have mold in their implants? There are pictures online showing black fluid in the implants. You can't diagnose mold by appearance, okay? And you have to diagnose mold when the fluid is sent from the operating room. Because once the implant leaves the operating room, there's mold in the air. There's mold in any damp place. There's mold in the air. In fact, you know, that's how we test for sterility is we test for the presence of stachybotrys. So that's one of the most indolent molds uh, in, in the uh, in the air. So once so in order to test for that, it has to the culture has to come from the operating room. Not only that, sometimes we see debris in the implants, and we have cultured them, and we have looked at these debris. Uh, with the pathologists, with special stains for fungus, well, none of it is, is fungus. It's just cellular debris. So I don't think mold is as big a problem as it has been portrayed because it's very hard to culture that. And uh, uh, in the ones that I have had positive, there's always a reason for that. For example, if you had a mastectomy, and if you had multiple, multiple tissue expansion, there's room for contamination. But if you just had augmentation and you, you had this done in a certified outpatient surgery center or by a board certified plastic surgeon who are very, very meticulous and conscientious about sterile technique, the, the chance of, uh, especially when the saline is filled from a closed system, the chance of contamination is minimal. So I would say that it is uh, over, uh, overly um, uh, played atten uh, paid attention to, and I don't think it's as big a problem as, as has been portrayed uh, in the media.